This is a quick look at the tools available uh, in GIMP for making selections. Uh, it doesn't go into any depth, it's just what options are available. People quite often want to uh, select a foreground or a background and the first step is always a, uh, a selection. So these are the tools that are generally available in GIMP. Top of the toolbox and if typically there are options for each tool, some more than others, but for the common one, the rectangular and the elliptical select, you have some options including aspect ratio and width and fixing height or size. So for a rectangular selection, you just draw it in the image and you get a, sometimes called a marquee or sometimes a crawling ants, but you get a little moving outline showing your selection. All the selection tools have this in common. You can also move it around if you click and drag with your mouse, you can move the selection around. If you don't like it, you can deselect it. Same with the elliptical selection tool. Uh, and, uh, useful in this one example is expand from center. So you just tick the box for an option and you can drag from the center out over rather than from a corner. You can also have a fixed aspect ratio if you want to make a perfect circle. Very useful uh, option. Now the more important are modes. Here by default it's replace but you can uh, add to a selection or subtract. Notice you also have an option to use a key, shift or control and you can intersect. If we look to add to the selection, still using a circular uh, elliptical select here, you could be square, but we'll keep with the elliptical selection. You can add to it and you can do this more than once, as many times as you like. And you can also subtract. And the intersect is a sort of a difference tool. Uh, Now the next one is a free select tool, sometimes called a lasso, and you just draw around your selection, get towards the end and hit enter if you don't get it straight away, and you get your crawling ants uh, boundary. Same as before, doesn't have as many options, but you can certainly use the mode and uh, add to the selection. Or you can subtract from a selection. Now then, this is uh, called fuzzy select. Sometimes called a magic wand. Uh, and it tries to select on basis of common parameters. So you click in the image and you get largely white areas. If you click in a white area, you can add, same as, uh, as the other selection tools. And if you have, say, large blocks of 
similar colours, uh, it's quite a useful tool. You can also uh, subtract and uh, play around and actually until you get your the selection you want. But that's the uh, fuzzy. Now then the colour select works in a very similar way but on colour. Very useful if you have say a plain uh, blue background or a red background or a white foreground you can select the colour. Useful for selecting text for example on a transparent or a plain background. Uh, this is the uh, scissors tool. Now this will try, if you click on the image and just keep clicking and going around, it'll try and find the boundary between your selection and what's left. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it's uh, not so clever. When you get to the end, uh, if you don't get a selection, just hit the enter key and you'll make your selection. There's a selection. And again you can add to a selection and subtract from a selection. Now I'm skipping one and going on to a paths tool. It's not strictly a selection tool, it's for making a path, but it works in a very similar way to the scissors tool. Here you click on various points called nodes. When you get to the end, close to the end, hit the, hit the under key and you get a selection. You also get a path, uh, but looking at the selection, uh, you can change it by editing the nodes, go into the Path Tool Edit mode. Very useful for making, making uh, complex curves. When you're finished, select from Path and you get a selection. If we look at the uh, Paths dialog, you can see that's the selection you can generally hidden but you can unhide it. When you don't want it just kill it and you're left with a selection. Can be very useful. And the last one on the uh, toolbox is the foreground select. Uh, this is the latest tool that was introduced in GIMP for uh, foreground selections. And here you get presented with the uh, free select tool and you draw around the object, foreground. Then you're given a paintbrush tool and you paint inside. And hopefully you get a selection doesn't always work the way you want it. You can adjust this uh, using the foreground selection tool again and uh, add and subtract from it, but it's not a particularly easy tool to use. So what I'm going to show now is the uh, quick mask. It's not in the toolbox, it's in the select menu. It's often overlooked. And here you get a mask over the uh, image and if you paint into it, uh, if you paint with white, you uncover parts of the image which are your selection. So the uh, white bits are my selection and if I 
toggle quick mask off, you can see we have a selection there. Great thing about it is you can toggle it back on again and start painting in black to correct anything that you don't like. That's an amended selection. You can also mix and match. So there's a circular selection. Toggle a quick mask. There it is, perfect circle selection. And if I start painting in white or black, change the brush size with the I'm using a square key here to a square brackets key to change the uh, brush size. But you can fiddle around and at the end of the day you get a selection that you want. So that's a very quick overview of making selections or the selection tools available in GIMP.